Charlie! Charlie! Oh. Oh. My souffle! <coughs> it looks interesting. It was supposed to be a surprise. A farewell dinner? Well, you're always complaining about the food at these conferences. I'll pack it. <laughs> now what? <clears throat> yes? Is Dr. Ohms at home? Doctor? My wife is dead. Dr. Joanna Holmes. Shirley! Hey, wait! Wait! Excuse me? Wait! Where did you get that stethoscope? Did Dr. Holmes give it to you? I... I'm sorry. I don't know. Do you know my mother? Shirley, go back to the house. But... Now, please. My wife died four years ago. My daughters had difficulty accepting it. How did this come into your possession? I'm sorry. I don't know. I only knew I had to return it. What's your name? Thank you for uh, bringing it to me. Look, if there's anything I can do... Thank you, brother. Don't worry about me. I walk with the Lord. Stephanie, Robert Holmes. May I speak with the ambassador? I have to delay my departure. Where's Shirley? I thought she was with you. My balloon! Did you know that man? That bum stole a bratwurst off me yesterday. Where are we going? I think he was making good his debt. <laughs> uh, do you mind if I look at that? One, two, three, four, five. It's a surgical glove. Property of St. Vincent's Hospital. Detective, I have to find out how this man got my wife's stethoscope. I told you to come back to the house. What? I don't know how to find him. Isn't that your job? Jo Please try. The police? Did you give them a description? Now listen to me. Just because this man had the stethoscope it doesn't mean he knows anything about your mother. It has to mean something. Medical supplies were always being stolen over there. He's African, maybe from Rwanda. Along with six million other people. Stop it, you two. You're both upset. Understandably. Shirley, your father's quite right to be concerned. We don't know anything about this man. I want you to forget about him. Like you've forgotten about Mom?
I hate it when we fight. Especially over something like this. You mean about Mum? About Mum, yes. I thought we'd agreed you'd make an effort to move away from this uh, obsession. Dad, they never found a body. There's no proof. Don't you think I tried to find her? I didn't want to believe it either. I went to Rwanda. I checked every medical facility, spent weeks following every lead. Shirley, I saw what was left of the camp she was working in. There were no survivors. You are not to start looking for this man. Let the police handle it. Bug larvae. I found some on the stethoscope. From their size, I determined that they hatched two days ago. It's safe to assume that he's been living in the woods for at least that long. Yeah, how's your dad taking it? Taking what? Well, it's kind of a shock, don't you think? This guy showing up and all? He's fine. Wasn't there a high wind warning last night? Yeah, it was a real howler. Why? These leaves should have blown away. Footprints. Whoa. Just one more. Are you sure you can't remember anything? Someone's got to recognize you once we distribute this photo. I'd estimate from the growth of your beard that you've been living here for a couple of days. That jives with the larvae. Are you getting enough to eat? The Lord provides. The balloon that you gave that little girl yesterday was a surgical glove from St. Vincent's Hospital. Were you a patient there? Your clothes have to tell something about you. I found them in a box. What were you wearing before? You remember something, don't you? I did something bad. What? Surely. Poor guy. A fugue. A what? A fugue is a dissociative mental state characterized by amnesia and physical escape from unbearable stress. You figure that's what's wrong with this guy? Well, he started to remember, and then he pushed it away. There's something he's running away from. Maybe someone's after him. He did try and cover his tracks. And he said he did something bad. For all we know, he could have murdered someone. I mean, uh, I didn't mean... Who knows how he got the stethoscope? Take this to the police. Didn't your dad already call them? Yeah, but they didn't have a picture of them. If they run it through their data banks... They could come up with a criminal record. Where will you be? St. Vincent's Hospital. That surgical glove? There's got to be a connection. I got a call about this guy. Now you got a picture. Yeah. I'll get around to it. You sure you don't recognize him? Yes, I'm sure. So first we'll see Mr. Johnson, and then we'll go to the Do you know this man? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Room 12A. Father Jean. He's a priest? I don't understand. Father Jean-Baptiste left two days ago. 
For where? He was going home. To Rwanda. I'll be just a minute, honey. Father Jean-Baptiste has helped him so much. Corey was just devastated when he was posted overseas. And then he didn't come to say goodbye. But he's still in Reddington. A priest from Rwanda. My mother must have given him the stethoscope. Shirley, don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I mean, shouldn't we wait until this guy gets his memory back before you we sound start? just like my father. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, it looks like he's gone. And we covered every inch of that park. It's like he vanished. Why would he leave? He liked it there. Unless... His memory came back. If it has, he won't even know us. Once they've recovered, feud victims can't even remember what happened during their feud. If his memory did come back, he might have gone to his old church. Yeah, but which church? There must be 20 Catholic churches here in Reddington. The hospital's in St. Mark's Parish. I'm Catholic. I know these things. It's worth a try. I told you not to go looking for him. But, Dad... Go to your room. Please. What? You're grounding me? That's exactly what I'm doing. I better go. Shirley! Don't tell me. It's for my own good. <clears throat> Excuse me, Father. I'm looking for Father Jean-Baptiste. He's already left for Africa. Were you in his youth group? Uh, no, no. So you're sure you haven't seen him? We'll all miss him. Father Jean is a wonderful priest. He practically lived in the youth center. Thanks. For some company? Not really, Gran. Shirley, you know you're the most important thing in the world to your father. He's disciplining you because he loves you. Because he doesn't trust me. You disobeyed him. Shirley, are you there? Shirley, talk to me. Just a minute, Bo. Can you come in? Grounded is grounded. Say goodbye. What do you got? I think I found the priest's clothes. He ditched them in the church. I'm sending it up. Okay. Got it. Bo, oh. Catholics wear medals of their patron saints, right? The ones they're named for. Yeah, why? Well, the guy with the keys, that's St. Peter, right? Shirley, what's going on? Nothing. I'll contact you when I get parole. Shirley, what? Shirley. If his name is Father Jean-Baptiste, then what's he doing wearing a medal of St. Peter? Hello? Detective, thank you for returning my call. 
I have reason to believe the man I'm looking for is at St. Mark's Cathedral. <clears throat> you have the reflexes of a soldier. Who are you? Brother Jean Baptiste. No, you're not. Who are you? You do have your memory back. You don't remember me because I was part of your fugue. <laughs> My what? You've had amnesia for two days. So, now that you remember your real name, which do you prefer? Peter or Pierre? Hey, kid. I've been looking for you. Where's that guy you were trying to ID? We found out he's a priest. Listen, I already followed one bum lead at St. Mark's. That guy's no priest. Interpol says he's wanted for questioning. You think he's a war criminal? I gotta find my friend. I knew that I'd find you here at the ruins of St. Peter's Cathedral, your patron saint. Go back to your parents. What about my mother? How did you get her stethoscope? Did you kill her? Did you? Did you? We're sorry, the cellular customer you have dialed cannot be reached this time. Man, I knew she was up to something. St. Peter, St. Peter. St. Peter's. St. Peter's. She's at St. Peter's. What is this, All Saints Day? You got a better idea? Kill your mother. Who are you? Pierre. Kayabanda. Why are the police after you? I was an officer in Rwanda during the war. I refused to order a massacre. They arranged for me to take the blame anyway. Shirley! This way. Scope was given to me by the real father Jean Baptiste. I've had it for three years. I was afraid that if I returned it, I would give myself away. How did Father Jean Baptiste get it? I don't know. His mission was attacked. When I found him, he was dying. He gave me the stethoscope and asked me to return it to Dr. Holmes. Did he say where my mother was? He died before he could say any more. Shirley, where are you? Why did you pretend to be him? I knew Father Jean-Baptiste since I was a young boy. He almost persuaded me to become a priest. But I became a soldier instead. I knew he was leaving soon for Reddington. It was a way out. He must have been good at being a priest. I met Corey, a little boy at the hospital. He needed my help. I prayed for him. But they were the prayers of a, a liar and a cheat. Unbearable stress. That's what caused your fugue. Hey, kid! Any sign of him? Nothing. 
The father Jean Baptiste wanted me to return the stethoscope to your mother. He must have believed she was alive. I'm here. Corey needs to see you. Shirley! Shirley, where are you? I'm here. Where have you been? The man you're looking for isn't here. Perfect. So what's Pierre gonna do? He's turning himself in. Why now, after all these years? I guess he's finally found the faith to go back to Rwanda and face the charges against him. After that, he's gonna become a priest. For real this time. You know, there's something I've always wondered. What are you doing? If your name is Boris, how come you wear the Medal of St. Francis? Boris is my middle name. Your first name is Francis? Yes. And if you tell anyone, I'm going to tell your dad you snuck out of the house yesterday. Dr. John Deal. Francis. There. It's incredible. Marvelous. Better late than never. Well, I feel better leaving now that we know more about Pierre Kayabanda. I knew there had to be a rational explanation for how he got that stethoscope. Didn't I tell you the police would take care of it? Yes, you did. Pierre will have his own problems to deal with when he goes back to Rwanda. But he's made me a promise. He's going to look for you, Mom. And so will I. I'll never give up. Not until we've found you. <laughs> 